Good evening. Steve Cohen, 331 Main Street. When Renaissance first came to town, I was thrilled. I was thrilled about the whole idea of what they were going to do down here. I did some research on them and I felt they really, really had a great plan. Because some of the plans before that, if you remember, weren't so great. But as I've listened to this plan, I've read about this plan over the last few years, this is not a good plan anymore. We do not need another apartment building down here. We certainly don't need the city to fund it, or the state, or the federal government, because it all comes from our pockets eventually. We don't need that. We don't. We need that. With, like we need apartments down there. Like we need a hole in the head. Okay. We've have enough apartments in town that, and some of them are vacant. They can't even be rented. I really f understand how some of the people that have got up here and spoken in favor, I know how they feel. And, and Renaissance has had some positive impact on the town. And some of the Bristol Risers, they've, it's, it's, it's really, it's quite amazing what's happened over the last few years. There's all this interest in the downtown that was never there before. No one cared about it for a long time. But this is not the right plan. This, this just, it, the more I hear about it, the more it's, it stinks and I don't want to have to pay for it. And I think we need to start over. I know you, you folks have spent a lot of your hard time, you know, a lot of your volunteer time, your personal time in this project. And I know <coughs> how important that is and how commendable that is, but this is not the right plan. We don't need this. And you know, just one other thing, if we're gonna come, if we're going to have people go look at 11 Summer Street, if that's the kind of thing we're going to build here, I don't want to build anything. I'd rather see an empty lot because 11 Summer Street's rented and there's already been an arrest. First week was open. Thank you. Good, uh, good evening. My name is Frank Kramer, 40 Crescent Drive, Bristol, Connecticut. Um, I was just Mr. Kramer, I'm sorry. Yes. I think the mic got the button got pushed. Oh, no kidding. Who's doing that for electronic? Like that's that's that. Much better. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Frank Kramer, 40 Crescent Drive, Bristol, Connecticut. Um, I'm just wondering if the same people who chose Renaissance uh, Depot, uh, excuse me, Renaissance uh, Towns Depot Square, as the uh, as the concept of choice, we're also responsible with the same insight they used to make sure that this rowdy, this rowdy bunch of people needed protection from the police department. Are you guys the same people? I know it's a rhetorical question. I'll move on. Um, just a little history, and I quote. I do not believe that we, the BDDC, as a board, have done adequate due diligence on the two. Now, it's not three, it was two, ma'am. Whoever said three, it was two. Uh, that we've done enough due diligence on two prospective developers. As a board member with a duty to the citizens of Bristol, I do not feel I have enough information to place my eggs in the basket of either party. I have made clear from the beginning that I wanted to encourage robust competition among developers for the right to develop our downtown. I would like to spend a little more time investigating why the parties who had previously expressed interest chose not to submit. Is it the economy, the process, is there a chance that we could do, get more robust competition by waiting until later when the economy improves? Additionally, based on the information we have, then, given that the developer, the two developers, has experience with this type of size of development project, that gives me great pause. Now, it's been reported that the Nashua, that Nashua New Hampshire engaged in an eight-month, not two-month, diligence as this BDDC did, okay? And uh, there has been no follow-up due diligence on our part. I feel that before I cast a vote to award this project to a developer, 
uh, a project that we expect to flourish and last for 50, 75, 100 years, we should spend a little time doing some more investigation. I understand the desire to get something moving and put that property back on the tax rolls, but I am hard pressed to believe that anyone would make a personal decision on this magnitude based on the dearth of information we have. I also have concerns about Renaissance numerous similar proposals to other communities, including Nashville and Waterbury. Now, how many are there? How much attention will we get? Okay? I want to make sure that every D is taught, dot, every D is crossed, I dotted, crossed before we move forward. I have never believed that in a competitive solicitation, two responses are enough to choose from. And I don't see the harm that would arise from extra due diligence. Well, guess what? There was never any extra due diligence. Okay, this thing was jammed and rammed. And I want to ask um, the person who quoted this, who, who actually uh, delineated this foresight, feels the same way today as she did five years ago. That's also, again, a rhetorical question. Thank you. Believe it or not, folks, that brings us to the end of list number one. We have another list, but we're going to take a five-minute break, and I do mean five minutes, please. If you would like to be heard and you have not signed up at the front table, please come, legibly print your name and address. We're going to resume in five minutes. Thank you.